Hi, I'm Kid. Another day, another video. Now, this video is part of my course on Udemy on calculus. Everything you need to know in calculus under the syllabus. Uh, in particular, it is a past paper question, which is quite a tricky one. So, even if you're quite good at calculus, I think you learn something from doing this question so that you'll be prepared to do this certain kind of past paper question. But uh, if you also need help on basically learning anything in calculus, you can go get my course. Now also, I have my new Patreon membership. If you get it, you can directly message me over there to ask about anything, any question that you have while doing uh, IB math questions. So if you need someone that can answer your questions, uh, then you may want to check that out. Enjoy. This is actually quite a tricky question. This is, this is 2015. Uh, this is actually section B, question 10. So the last question of the paper, is, so it's supposed to be hard. There is a part A and B before this, but uh, what you do there is not relevant to uh, what we'll need to do. It's still not about integration. So we just do part C, okay? So what you have is you have a curve, but it is the derivative of some function f, okay? It's not f, it is the derivative of f. And they tell you that region A have a certain area, region B have a certain area, region C has a certain area for the area enclosed by the graph of the derivative of f, okay, not f again, yeah. And somehow, they ask for the value of f when x is 6. Well, they give you the value of f at 0. So at first, that seems to be totally irrelevant. The only thing I have is f prime x, and I don't even know what f prime x is. I only have the graph, and I only have some area under the graph. And somehow, they give me f0, and I'm supposed to find f6. So if this is the first time you see this type of question, this is very tricky. Now, if your goal is to get a 7, you should pause the video now and give it a try. Do something randomly, try something, um, learn how to deal with this kind of stuff. Maybe you'll be lucky, do something correct, get a few points. Or even if you try something, you may figure out how to do it. The key is if you want to get a 7, you may not want to just skip this, even in the real exam or when you're practicing. Okay, so pause the video if you want to try now. If not, the answer will be coming right now. Now, it's not obvious how you do this, but uh, let's just say we do something with the information we have. What can we do with this information? Now, to give you some area, right? Area is probably about integration. So we can integrate. Let's say we integrate. What do we integrate? We can integrate the curve that we have. So we'll integrate f prime x. And uh, let's say we integrate from 0 to 6, OK? OK. Now, what kind of answer should I get? If I do that, if I integrate this curve from 0 to 6, I'm supposed to find the area between 0 to 6, right? What are the areas? It's 12, 6.75, 6.75, okay? So I would get maybe what? 12 plus 6.75 plus 6.75, right? Just the area. Would that be what I get? Well, the answer is no, because as I explained, there's a thing about integration. If your area is below the x-axis, integration would think that the area is negative. So in the perspective of integration, they would think this area is negative 12, this area is negative 6.75, and c would be positive 6.75. So if you integrate from 0 to 6, you should get negative 12, negative at negative 6.75, and then add 6.75. Okay, make sure you understand that. 
So the right hand side, well, this and this cancel out would come out to be negative 12. Okay. Now then uh, let's think about, can we actually integrate this? Uh, well, we don't even know what f prime is. But if you think about it, f prime is the derivative of f, and then you integrate. But integration is the opposite of differentiation. So if you integrate the derivative of f, just get f. Right? After all, they are opposite of each other. Okay, and uh, do the usual thing for the limit. Square bracket 0, 6. Mm. What do we do with the limit? Plug in the top, minus, plug in to the bottom. Now, at this stage, it should be obvious why they need to tell you f0. And so we can find f6. Okay? So at the beginning, you might be wondering why did I chose to integrate from 0 to 6? Uh, in some sense, it's because I want to use all the information they give me, right? If they give me all three region, probably I need all three region. But uh, if you didn't get that the first time, maybe you start with 0, 2 to begin with, then you realize that you get f2 here, minus f0, and then that might uh, make you realize that you should just integrate from 0 to 6. Okay, so sometimes just start with what you have, randomly do something, then maybe you can figure it out. But after all, this is a quite a tricky question. So, uh, yeah, it's not easy at all. But let's finish it. F0 is given to be 14. So F6 is 2. Okay, so that finish part C. Now with the value of f6, you uh, you need that to find the equation of tangents for fx whole squared. That's part D. I think I've done something similar in the part of differentiation during this course. So uh, uh, I think I will skip that, but this is still uh, not the easiest thing you can do. You might want to challenge yourself by doing it.